Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to my channel for a brand new episode of Decidedly Vanilla. Welcome back guys. We are on the Decidedly Vanilla server and I am so, 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 so excited to be playing today because guys, if you didn't know, I have actually been gone on vacation for two weeks. Gone for for a little it was like around two weeks it wasn't exactly two weeks but it was it's was around two weeks so I haven't been able to play Minecraft or record in a couple of weeks so I do have some plans on uh, what we're gonna do in today's episode I'm very excited I actually um, planned out something really cool while I was on vacation because I, I just couldn't help myself but I do have some updates of course because I've been gone you know things have been changing on the server some I've gotten some messages and things like that I need to uh, kind of do some things and show you guys some things so first things first uh, let me see let's actually start over here so before I left on vacation I just built this really uh, kind of small farm over here it's really nothing too fancy or exciting it's just got you know lines of crops and I think it looks really good uh, it does work decently well I mean I've I haven't really been messing with it too much uh, melons are overstocked, which is amazing. Other than that, I do have a message that was put here like actually a long time ago, again before I left for the holidays. This was like around Christmas time that this was posted, I think. Maybe New Year's, Christmas, something like that. Um, so I got this book and it says, Happy Holidays. Uh, so it says, Merry Christmas. Carl the Christmas Cactus has a gift for you. Okay, cool. So we've got a gift from the Christmas Cactus over at Cirque Space is what it looks like. Uh, there's a rail line. Okay, and the train station. Awesome. So we need to head over and do that. That's kind of our first thing. And I was also looking around my base because, you know, when when you're gone, sometimes you get pranked. And I've been pranked a couple times on the server. So I was looking around for some prankage and I saw something. And I really, really want to check it out because it looked like a shulker box. That, that down there looks a lot like a shulker box. So what we're going to do is we are going to run down and we're going to check it out. It's right in the middle of the the fishbowl, which we actually need to fill up with some cool stuff here very soon. Fly like the wind or a bumblebee. BJ. Oh my gosh. Okay, there is an elytra in here. That is so amazing. Thank you, BJ, so much. Um, I, I really was going to go out and find my own, but this makes my life a little bit easier. Um, so that is, that is super nice of him to do that. And we get some rockets. I've actually never... Uh, flown in elytra in my life. I've never had one because in my single player series We just haven't gotten there yet and other than that. I really haven't Ooh, goal reached sky's the limit uh, I just haven't like ever gotten to the point where I really go to the end I kind of focus on building as a lot of you guys know and we also got our first shulker box uh, Blue box of goodies. I like it. So yeah guys. I've never flown with an elytra. I have no clue what it's like I'm probably gonna be terrible at it. Should we try it? I don't know. I think I'll save it. I think I'll save it for uh, the end of the video. And maybe we can, like, at the end of the video, to close out the video, we'll do a little fly over our base here and we can kind of, like, plan things out. I think that'd be really, really cool. Actually, ooh, the elytra is definitely going to come in handy to look at what I'm doing or what I have planned in today's episode. So, um, that is going to be very awesome, but what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to leave you. I'm going to head over to the Cirque space, and we're going to pick up what we need to pick up there. Then we're also going to go to the end really quick. Um, speaking of elytras, we're going to go to the end. And then I also want to check out Sea Haven and see what's been going on there. So give me just a second, and we're going to kind of pop around a little bit. But I'll be right back with you guys in just a sec. Okay, guys, so here we are at Cirque space. So we are in the territory of the Die King, and we need to be a little, we need to tread lightly here. Um, but this looks amazing. Look at this little Christmas cactus. I know Christmas like passed quite a ways ago or quite a long time ago, but it still looks amazing and I still love it all the same. Um, so, okay, I need to pick up my little box here. I have no clue what could be inside. I haven't even been over here in a long time. Ooh, two die, oh, die vouchers. Oh, okay, cool. So he's giving us diamonds so that we can go to the dye shop and we can use these and purchase dyes, which is actually really nice because uh, I do go to the dye shop, yeah, you know, frequently. I don't go all the time, but um, I don't have dyes myself or whoa, whoa, I just flew. 
I just I just took my first flight without even trying. That was crazy. Um, okay, cool, Elytra. There is kind of a war going on between the Die King and Dies and stuff. Uh, I'm not taking sides. So guys, we are going to actually head over to the end and I need to show you guys something. So this kind of popped up. It actually popped up before I left, but uh, I didn't get a chance to show you guys it and it's really, really cool. And you guys can see down at my a little my little hot bar down there I have 40 levels which is quite a f it's quite a few you know it's quite a lot um, and we have an amazing way of getting levels on the server and a, a lot of you guys probably know of ender enders and you've seen ender enders but we actually have one on the server I can't remember how to get there I think it's this way I don't really know wow a lot of this has changed this hasn't what is that portal I don't know what's going on um, I think it's this way so what we're going to do is we are just going to head over to the Ender Ender and I'm going to come back with you guys here in just a second. I do have a minecart. That's perfect. Okay, cool. Um, all right, guys. So I will come back with you once we get to the Ender Ender. All right, guys. So here we are and this is what it looks like. Um, I don't have a rail. Can I, can I call one? Oh, this is icy. I was like, why am I slipping and sliding around? So we're going to run to the end of this. This is the ender ender. If you guys haven't seen one before, um, I did not make this. I definitely didn't make this. I don't know how to make this. Um, but it's really, really cool. It's a way of getting experience very, very quickly. Um, so it's nice. I've already been down here. So this is my junk box over here. I just put some books over here that I've enchanted. So it's, it's really cool to have this kind of area and place over here. I actually do need to make myself a sword uh, to put over here because these are definitely not one one punch kills. This is what it looks like. It's really amazing and you also can get loads and loads of ender pearls. And while we're down here, I'm actually going to grab some because uh, I want to put a few in my shulker box. I'm just going to hang on to this guy because it's awesome. I've never had one before. So um, as you guys, as I mentioned earlier, I don't go to the end very much. I never really do the dragon fight. But what we need to do is slip and slide our way back down the little tunnel here. And we need to head over to spawn. So we are at Sea Haven. And I just want to take a look around. I want to see what's kind of been going on here. This looks really good. Whoa. What is this little flower ritual happening? This looks really cool. I don't know what's going on here, but it's it's kind of it's cool. It's interesting. This looks so so awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, my voice is dying. Give me just one second, guys. All right, guys. So I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I might be getting a little sick. I'm not sure. At least I hope I'm not. But yeah, my voice has been doing that uh, quite a lot today. But that's okay. Uh, so just, I was taking a look at this and it says grand opening soon. So this is going to be some sort of, oh, whoa, okay. So like a food store or not, not like a food store, like a restaurant, just like somewhere you can buy bread and sandwiches, apples, salmon. This is amazing. Um, I actually was kind of thinking about doing a food store of my own. Uh, not a, why do I keep calling it a food store? It's a restaurant. Um, so, some sort of restaurant. What does this say? Oh, happy holidays. Okay, head off in this direction because there is quite a few things that have popped up as I mentioned. So this is amazing. This looks beautiful. Uh, Pixel Riffs did make this and he did, he, he featured it in a video. Uh, so don't forget guys, I leave all of the DV members down in the description below so that you can find their channel and watch their videos but yeah this is the emerald fountain throw in one emerald ore the fountain will reward you with three emeralds that's awesome now I don't really have any emerald ore to give I wish I did but I don't um, so we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to hold off on this one for just a little while but that's okay what is over here hopefully I'm not giving out any spoilers as well this looks amazing uh flips professional dirt 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 scraping? Dirt scraping. Okay. Dirt scraping. I don't I don't know why my brain went to that. Um, empty order books. Place an order form here. Love that. That is amazing. Um, oh, the Santa is still here. I thought it wasn't here. Now, there's one thing that I'm very, very excited to show you guys, and that is a new build here in Sea Haven. Uh, so, we got a new member on the server, and his name is Mythical Sausage. He is so, so awesome. Like, one of the people that just cheers me up the most in life. He's so funny. Um, if you, again, I will link his channel down below. He does make YouTube videos very, very often. So, I'll link his channel down below so you guys can find him. But recently, he built 
this and this is just amazing um he's still adding on to it so i hope i'm not giving any spoilers but i kind of wanted to like check it out because i haven't seen it before and i'm just like blown away it looks really cool so we're gonna head on inside and just take a look take a peek wow okay oh he has a whole kitchen and everything oh wow this looks this looks really really good i like this a lot what is this i don't even know i don't even know what that is but it's cool um okay so i want to head upstairs and see because i think has he furnished this whole place can i have this room <laughs> can this be my room for when i come over like and sleep over can i have this so yeah this is super super cool i really like the way he's decorated this and there's just a, a lonely bed up here uh but now we've got some work to do at our own base because you guys know i've been giving a lot of tours recently of kind of what's been going on in the server and haven't really built anything recently and i really want to build i want to get into building and i have a cool plan for uh what i want to do so we're gonna head back to the base i'll catch you guys there in just a second okay guys so i know i showed you this at the beginning of the episode and this is my little farm and it looks you know it looks pretty good it looks decent but i definitely think i could spruce this up a little bit and make it look really really nice so i have a plan so what we're gonna do is we're just going to take all of this out and we're going to redo it. We're going to do a little bit of a farm with a little bit more of a design to it. Instead of it just being rows and stuff like this, we are actually going to... Wow, that grew really fast. Uh, we're just going to kind of take all of these out, redo it, make it look fantasy, make it look fun. And, hope. well, hopefully if we make it fantasy and fun, we'll kind of see how it goes. And then I think I'm going to do a time lapse for the building process because... We've already kind of walked around the server and seen a lot of things and I want you guys to see this build uh, kind of come together over time. I think it's going to be really cool and um, I'm excited for you guys to see it. So I think I'm going to do a time lapse. It's been a minute since we've done one so uh, it feels right. It feels right. Um, but yeah, I will be right back with you guys again in just a second. Welcome back after the time lapse, guys. So, I hope you like what I've kind of come up with here. It's just a little, I thought it was a little cute way to kind of have a small farm. And I really, really like the way this turned out. I think it looks cool. Um, so, these are kind of like little pergolas. And I really like them. They're just like stacked next to each other. And then they've got some overgrowth on the top. But I think this looks awesome. It's just a way for me to basically, uh, you know, come here and farm and have little farms that I can use for things. I don't know, uh, have extra food sources and things like that. Because I haven't really been doing too great on the server with food. Thank you to the food truck. That has been helping me so, so much. But yeah, I need to get some farms together. And I was really trying to focus on the castle. Um, and then I, I realized it's such a big project and then we did the fishbowl and that was another big project and I kind of skipped out on some of the the more basic 
basic parts of playing Minecraft, which is like making farms and doing food and things like that. So I'm trying to kind of backtrack a little bit, go into thinking about those things a little bit more. And I think this looks, I, I like it. I like it. I think it's going to work for us. So uh, one thing I also would really like to do is add some chests. I have one here and then I have like these ones, which have all the stuff in them. Uh, can I take, oh yeah, this is perfect. We will just take this one. We will just take this one. That did not sound like English. Um, all right. And I want to just do something like in the center here. So I think I'll go, uh, one there and then another one right here and they'll kind of go to their corresponding sides. So we can just put wheat in. Let me take the wheat out and maybe the seeds, some, some more seeds, got lots of those. I do need to figure out a place to put my, uh, what you call it? My, <laughs> Uh, like my melons and my pumpkins and stuff. I do not have a place for those yet. So I think what we'll do is we'll just fill half this with wheat and then we'll fill the other half with seeds. And then we can kind of do the same thing over here with the beetroot and just going around in a circle. So yeah, guys, I think this is going to work pretty well. I'm very excited to actually have a farm in and do a little bit of building. It was a, you know, it was a very small amount of building, but it still was very, very fun. So can I take that out? Perfect. We'll take this little chest. I don't know what to do with my cocoa beans. That's another thing we kind of have to think about, but that's okay. We will get there in time and it will all come together and be good. So then we can do carrots like that. I think that's going to have to be it for today's episode. Um, I, I like the progress we're making. We're going to kind of, like I said, slow down a little bit. So things are going to, we're going to, we're going to try to do a lot more building because I've been missing the building recently. So thank you guys so much for watching. I just remembered that I said I was going to do an elytra fly over. You know what? Actually, before we end the episode, uh, let's do an elytra fly because I don't know how to do this. Um, I've never done this before. So we're going to just try to see if we can figure it out. I, I figured the best way would be to maybe like jump off the cliff. All right. So we're getting up to the top here and... Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think this is gonna, oh, this is either gonna go really good or really bad. I'm really, I'm scared. Uh, but this is actually a good spot, I think. So we're gonna jump. And guys, I'm so nervous. I'm nervous. Um, okay, we're gonna jump and just go. We're gonna jump and do it. So I think if we go, how do I do this? How do I? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You got, oh, okay. I get it. You have to like point up to the sky where you want to go. Whoa, check out the fishbowl. Why am I falling? Why am I falling? Why am I falling? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. My elytra just like stopped working. That was so scary. What the heck? Okay, I cannot believe I saved that. Okay, we're gonna try this again because I want to go over the, the farm. Okay, we're flying. Okay, it's not as hard as it seems. Not as hard as I'm making it seem at least. Okay, I'm getting lag. I think that's what's happening. Yep, lag, 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 lag. I landed and I only hurt myself a little bit. Okay, guys, so I'm going to practice flying because apparently I'm very bad at it. Um, so I'll do that off camera and hopefully become a pro in no time. Very, very excited to have the Elytra. It's looking good. I like it a lot. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me that you guys come over to my channel and check out my videos. We've been growing so much recently and it just makes my heart feel so happy. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. But yeah, I also did want to mention before I go that I decided to create a schedule for myself. So that is going to be linked down in the description as well. So if you guys want to know what my upload schedule is and when certain videos are going to come out, uh, you can check it out there. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Decidedly Vanilla episode.